Alright guys, today we're going to talk about a very common problem, uh, death wobble. Uh, I've recently had death wobble in my Jeep, and I'm going to show you a video on how I corrected the problem. Uh, from what I've researched online uh, with TJs, it's a very common problem. These aren't the exact bolts, I'm just using these in comparison for the video. The factory bolt is 10 millimeter, and it's very, very puny to be honest with you. Um, it wears out real fast, and the longer that you drive with this bolt in there, the quicker that these holes uh, are going to get wallowed out and give you more problems. That's pretty much where a lot of the problems come from. Uh, online they uh, recommend a 12.9 hardened bolt. I will put the exact size measurements for the bolt uh, on the screen for you guys. This right here, the larger bolt fixed a lot of people's problems. Death wall will win away. But this Jeep, uh, my Jeep's 2004, so it's already pretty old. The longer that you drove with a little bit of wobble, might not have been death wobble, but as long as it shook the front end a little bit, the longer you drove, it made this hole right here oblong, and no amount of replacing this bolt is going to fix that. Now this Jeep has a four and a half inch lift kit on it, so the instructions say if you want to use the factory track bar to drill a new hole. Well my problem was, my problem was, I bought the upgraded bolt but it was already too late. By the time I put this bolt in, there was still play in there. So, lo and behold, at about 55 miles an hour, the front end would shake. So back to the drawing board. The correct way to fix this would be to get a plate of steel, weld it over there, and drill new holes through it. Well, if you don't have a welder available, or easy access to one. So what I did is ended up going to the auto parts store taking the larger upgraded bolt with me and buying one one size bigger. Now this new bolt that I purchased was too large to fit through the holes that were already drilled in the front axle housing. So I had to take a drill and a drill bit and I drilled new holes bigger. But the new problem was the bolt that I bought would not fit through the size hole in the bushing of the actual track bar. So you're going to have to end up drilling out this uh, center part of the bushing as well. Now, this is probably the hardest part because you're going to have to make sure you have that drill straight. That way when you put this track bar in between here, all the holes are going to line up and your bolt's not going to be going in sideways. That's going to be the hardest part. Now as soon as I did this, I put it all back together and there's not a single shake in my front end. I couldn't be happier. Um, I used the factory track bar. Uh, as a guinea pig to make sure everything would work. Then I ended up going and I bought a uh, Rough Country adjustable track bar. Alright, just so I don't confuse anybody, this is the factory track bar bolt. It's really skinny as you can tell, even compared to that one. Uh, it's noticeably smaller. That's a 10 millimeter. This is a 12.9. This is the upgrade bolt. Now what I recommend doing is buying the upgraded bolt. If there's still a lot of slop and play in there, I wouldn't put this in there because it's just going to make your problem worse over time. Either do what I did and buy the bigger bolt and drill all this out so everything's nice and tight, everything's all the same size, or you're going to have to have somebody weld a plate on there then drill all new holes. Now there are probably other ways of fixing this, but this is just what worked for me and I think it would solve a lot of people's problems with death wobble. There's a lot of contributing factors to what caused death wobble. But the easiest way to check the track bar is if you just sit right here, stare at this area right here, have someone go inside your Jeep and move the steering wheel back and forth. The track bar should not move against the axle housing. It should all Usually if the bushing is wore out or this holes wore out, these are going to be working against each other. And that's probably where that's where your wobble is going to be coming from. So before you do start taking anything apart, just do the simple little task, have someone in your Jeep, shake the steering wheel back and forth, and you just look over here and see if anything is moving. I'd probably say 7 out of 10 times this is your problem. If not, it can be ball joints, uh, steering knuckles, you know, anything along those lines, anything on the front end. But this is probably the easiest and cheapest fix. Alright, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I reply pretty quickly. Thanks.